Hey, good morning, everybody. My bad, man. I haven't uploaded the past couple days because your boy forgot to load his, uh, no, forgot to load, fuck, forgot to charge my, forgot to charge my camera, batteries. I usually got three batteries on deck and I didn't charge any of them for like the past few days. So yesterday I was recording and my camera died. Um, the first exercise I was on. So we did legs yesterday. I don't skip leg day. Um, don't ever skip leg day. So I did legs, I did back the other day. And then today is going to be a shoulder, shoulder emphasis day. And we're gonna do our best to target the I think we're actually going to start with a, uh, yo, 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 oh, shit, chill, chill, chill. We're going to start with a, a pressing movement. Come on, man. Keep that thing on you. Keep that thing on you. Um, we're going to start with a pressing movement and hopefully, um, man, I don't want to do the, um, Dumbbell, dumbbell press. I don't know, man. Free weights be killing me sometimes. I'm not like that, like that, but so long as I control and use like a nice moderate weight. I haven't been lifting like super, super heavy um, the past like month or so. And I've been feeling good, honestly with how my physique is looking and with how my lifts are looking so I cannot complain at all and you know when you find that happy median that's where you want to stay especially when you're lifting and exercising almost daily you know you want to find that happy median where your body isn't like too like beat up and you're feeling like that every day and you can't recover that's what you don't want and i feel like we got that sweet spot <clears throat> okay so let's let's talk about the workout a little bit we're going to start with the press move into lateral and then we're going to do reverse flies for our rear delts it's gonna be a nice workout man a solid one and then we're gonna hit some arms. So maybe maybe just triceps. Cause I did biceps the other day, like maybe like a couple days ago with back. So my biceps are still, they're not sore, but I mean, I feel like they don't need like crazy amounts of volume. So um, we'll see how we're feeling. And we did, did we do abs yesterday? No, we didn't do any abs yesterday. So maybe do some abs today, throw them in. I did do my 20 minutes of cardio yesterday. So we're gonna do that again today before before the workout. We got some pretty good time. Happy Friday, by the way, everyone. Let's get to the bag, get to the bag today. I got, oh shit, my bad. You guys are kind of sideways. I got two working days until vacay. So we're almost there, man. Just gotta keep it pushing for now. Keep it trucking along. Shit. I'm trying to find the, the right angle for the tripod. <laughs> God damn it. Oh well. I'm gonna keep y'all right here. Um, two more working days, counting today. So Saturday will be my last working day. Sunday, then Monday we fly out. Nice little red eye fly to Dublin, Ireland. That shit about to be fun. Never in my wildest dreams I thought I'd go to Ireland, man. Wow. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be beautiful. See some of my wife's family out there. My wife's best friend. And 
enjoy some Guinness. You boy, you know, you boy got to drink some Guinness out there. I don't even, I don't, I don't really drink the beer like that. <laughs> but for for old times' sake, not even for old times' sake, for for Ireland's sake, because that's where they produce it. Hopefully, they have like a light kind of Guinness. I don't want to drink that. Look at that fucking dark shit. Uh uh. Tastes too bitter. Ugh. I don't know how my fuck to be like. Ugh, long day at work. Let me crack open this six pack. <laughs> but whatever floats your boat, man. Hey, if that takes the edge off, you do you. Do as you please because my vice is designer cookies. <laughs> your boy eating, uh, be eating designer cookies, man. Like, that's, that's, uh, that's me and my wife's thing, bro. Like, when Crumble, like, first came out. We was on that shit. Low key, probably put everybody on. Cause yesterday we had some, we had some crave cookie. Man, that shit was pretty fire too, man. I'm not gonna lie, that was like the best s'more cookie I ever had. And I'm a, I'm a cookie guy. You guys know that. So, go and get you that s'mores cookie from Crave. If you guys got a Crave cookie, shit was busting. And then there was like a, a better than XXX cookie. And that was fire too. The other ones were pretty, the other ones are good, but those two stuck out to me. The Twix one, fire as always. It tastes a little different, so they got to work on that consistency. But yeah, that's my vice. So I'd rather have cookies over beer. Dessert over beer, I guess. Oh, and a little update, you know, I, um, I don't, since yesterday, I was, I was talking on the vlog, I told, I told the vlog I was eating, um, or not eating, I made an offer on a place, I made an offer on a place down south a little bit, and I thought I was about to hear back yesterday, but I didn't hear anything, so today's the day where I hear back, maybe they counter offer. Maybe they're like, yeah, fuck it. Let's just take it off the market, sell it to this guy. So we'll see, man. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Excited, uh, excited to be on this journey, on this little, on this real estate journey. You know, see what we can get shaken. But I'll update you guys as soon as I know. So it's gonna be fun. I don't know how to feel right now. I feel like I was on on, uh, on ice yesterday because I thought I was gonna know yesterday about my offer I put in, and then my realtor, which is my cousin, told me that they might have a was it they might have a counter offer yesterday, but I didn't hear anything all day, so I was like, God damn. Then he texted me last night saying, Hey, I might have good news for you um, the following day, so. I was just waiting on some, uh, waiting on some good news. And if they counter, hopefully it's not, not too crazy, because your boy was hoping it's just like a one-stop shop type deal. Five grand, all right, maybe. But they're talking about they need ten grand. I'm like, I, I don't know. But I don't know how this. Uh, I guess we'll see. We'll see. Ugh. I had okay sleep. I had okay sleep last night. Went to bed around 11. Woke up around 2, then 4. I think my son was up, man. I don't know what happened lately. He's been he's been waking up early for some reason. Maybe he's, un, he's uncomfortable or something. Then my daughter be um, she she be going to bed at like you know 7, 8. So she'd be she'd be trying to wake up in the in the middle of the night too. <laughs> Gotta make her a bottle. Uh, parenthood. Parenthood is crazy. Um, especially if you're like a new dad. Like, I felt like my daughter was literally just born, and she's huge. She's been growing. My son, that man's about to be three this year in November. And he really just had to 
be as present as you can because these moments right now when they're when they're little babies and toddlers I don't know I feel like it just it goes like in a blink of an eye like my son's learning so many new words he's talking in full sentences he's being very descriptive he's like he'd be pointing out things when we're on the road when we're driving he's observant and then he's he's like a sponge he'll do everything that <laughs> that i be doing which is pretty cool man my little mini and then my daughter i mean i feel like she's starting to pull herself up on things about to start walking so yeah it just moves fast especially if you're or if you're a new parent you you guys know you guys know it moves faster if you guys got full full grown kids like i talk to my customers all the time and they got they got grown kids i'm like hey man does it get easier people they, they uh, usually tell me it's just new new challenges arise new challenges arise every year so it's got to be ready it's got to be ready and continue to grow with your your children pretty cool oh okay where are we parking at park behind this truck right here okay all right y'all man your boy just pulled up to the gym pre-workout hitting a little bit ah. oops and uh yeah let's go get this 20 minutes of cardio in and then we'll um see you guys on the first working set, which is going to be a shoulder press. Oh, all right, y'all. This is the first exercise. And we got a plate and a 10 on each side. So we're shooting for 12 here. Okay. Oh. Extend all the way through. Two. Three. What is it for? One, two, three, four, come on. <sighs> Okay, one more. I got this shit, man. Ooh. God damn. The triceps are really kicking in on those. Oh, okay. I'm probably gonna... We're gonna stay here, but I gotta move the bench up just a little bit. All right, y'all. This is the top set. So we're only doing two sets here. And then um, we've got the same exact weight. But we move the bench just a little bit closer so we can get a little bit more leverage on it. Okay. Ah, motherfucker. Okay. This is, I like to peek my pinkies on the knurling, which is that smooth part right there. Three, two, one. Come on. Oh, thumbless. Light work. Okay, that feels way better. Two. Let's go. Oh. Three. Oh. 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 Motherfucker. All right, man. We got the little drop set. So we'll be back in just a second. All right, guys. This is a this is a drop set, and yeah, we're just gonna wrap this out. All right. We took a little bit too much rest, though.
Got control up top. Yeah. That's starting to burn right there. I don't know. What is this? Ooh. All right, man, that's all we got. Let's go into some lateral auto raises, finish off with some rear delts, and then triceps and abs. So just two sets and a drop set there. That's all you need. Soda's are gonna be cooked already, so let's make sure we got enough uh, juice left in the tank for some uh, side delts and rear delts. All right, guys, we're heading to lateral raises, and I got 30. 30s here, uh, still the same rep range, so we're gonna shoot for eight to, Control like that too. Right, that's one. That's two. Uh, three. Reach out. Four. Uh, six. Come on. Three and three. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 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 so whenever you do lateral raises like that, you want to reach out like this. We're not going straight out. We're going out like that. And that's going to better align the uh, lateral belt there. Side belt. All right, so this is going to be the top set. We're going to try to shoot for another uh, 12. And we'll speed it up at the end and maybe do some partners. <clears throat> Keep that core tight too. Okay, parcels. Oh, all right, man. Toss you, bro, for uh, side delts. Let's get into rear delts and then move into triceps. All right, guys. Third or second exercise. No, third exercise. I'm shooting for eight here. Uh, see that control at the bottom? That's two. Three. Four. Oh, we got more than eight. Come on. Come on. Okay. That's actually not bad. We got one more set there. You might, uh, you might move it down a little bit, but when you extend those arms, like really reach out and don't go all the way through because you're just gonna uh, engage the traps. So stop right about uh, what is that? Like right in line with your torso. That's what I was trying to say. So we'll do one more set, then move and stretch. All right, second set, top set. We just kept the weight the same. That's three. Four. Five. Six. Come on. All right, hold on. Fuck that. I'll drop this shit. Oh, shit. All right, that didn't feel too bad. So I was moving the triceps now, and man, I was using that one 
that one attachment with the with the double handles. That shit was fire, but I think I might need to buy one because I don't see it right now. So I felt like the tricep pump from that was real nice because you can kind of let your elbows flare whatever they want to. We'll grab the next thing, probably some ropes. All right, we're moving the triceps. We got like 150 on here. We typically don't use the, uh, I guess it's like an easy bar on here, but let's see what we got. It wasn't too bad, so let me try this real quick. Right. Hmm. Let's see. So we'll count that as a set, and then we'll do one more set. Alright, this is gonna be the second set, y'all. Or one short from the full stack. We're gonna see how this feels, though. Actually, I want to hit some dips, maybe like the tricep dip machine, and then something overhead. That would be done. All right, y'all, man, we probably just gonna get one set in this motherfucker. One set here, and then hopefully these cables are are still available by the time we're done with this one, so we can hit. We can probably kill two birds with one stone and hit some abs there too. Or I'll ask for the ab roller, and then do two sets of failure with the ab roller. But let's finish this up real quick. We got like 205 on here. But as you can see, my the elbow flex is super stretched there. Stay a little bit more upright so we don't utilize that much chest. Here we go. That's my. set up a uh, failure there and let's go hit our, our tricep accessories overhead all right man i think we, we did one set off camera so we're gonna try and do this one it's a failure here That's it. Um, we're gonna find a uh, we're gonna find the ab roller and then finish up with finish up with abs. Do two sets of that, and then I don't think we got any time for no cardio or nothing like that. So this workout was pretty solid. Those cookies are going to work right now. All right, guys, I'm gonna do one of these on camera, and then so you'll see that I'm coming here. And then my feet are behind. Curl up. Get out here. <clears throat> and then curl up. Look at look at my spine. Stand all the way out. <clears throat> curl up. 
That's two. Three. Four. Let's pause right here. Six. Pause right here. Uh, seven. Eight. Nine. God damn. Let's do one more. Uh, ten. Yeah, you know what? We didn't go to a failure, but that's okay. We'll do one more set of like 10 to 15, and then we'll get a little physique update for you. You know what, guys? It's about that time. We get a little physique update out here. You know what? Oh, a Tesla Plaid? Someone's really doing it. But man, we just gonna just flex out here. It's, it's nice weather right now. And we're feeling good. So, we'll get a little physique update out here. And then, we're about to head home. Because my mom, my mom would be really upset if if your boy was was out here with just the wife beater on. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. So basically, this is what we're looking like. It's about 50 some degrees out here. So we're just, we're, we're trying not to get hypothermia. I don't want to. Check it out. Okay. So the whole workout was what we do, we got a press in, we got some, some lateral raises, some rear delts and triceps, and then two sets of the ab roller, which I don't, I don't know, man. <clears throat> the ab roller used to be a super staple in my, um, in my gym training. And I've went away from it because I feel like I can't get the best stretch that, as I can with the, um, with the ropes with the cable crunches so those have been like super super uh what's the word i'm looking for i don't know but um those have been in my regimen for a while now and uh, that's basically how we keep our our abs year round well hoping to keep our abs year round now because with the um when, com when you're competing you want to i, I kind of said this like when did i say this i said this maybe maybe when we first started vlogging is you want to stay close to your stage weight as possible so when you're um uh, when you're bulking you don't want to get too far from that you know 20 pounds is 20 pounds is like the sweet spot. Nothing too crazy. But damn, I think we're right, right around 175 still. And we'll really kick it in the gear once we're back from vacation. Like that's when we're really gonna, really gonna dial it in. Because I did get up to, I think one, or I got up to like 188, I think. 185, 188. I think around there, um, when I first started the bulk, and then I switched to the cut. You know, we did the 2,000 calories. And then now we're at uh, probably right around 28, 2,800, 3, 3,000 for maintenance. Um, and the cardio has been nice. So I've been doing the 20 minutes before, and that's pretty much it. I was going to keep doing cardio, but man, sometimes it takes a lot out of you. <clears throat> especially if you do cardio before your workout because I mean you don't want to like run a mile you want something to keep you in that in that sweet spot uh, of heart heart rate in terms of heart rate like sweet spot you don't want to like you know kill yourself while doing your while doing your cardio before your workout because basically you're gonna exert too much energy so that when you are trying to, you know, fail out and stuff like that on your, um, on your workout, you're not going to get as much force 
uh, production because you use all that energy uh, running a mile or doing hit hit cardio <laughs> so don't do that unless you like unless you're a runner or a person that loves cardio and, and you have fun doing that for sure but if the if the intention is to build muscle I wouldn't do it you shouldn't be like you know super super drenched before your workout it's just you want to get the blood flowing get your heart rate up get your body primed before we start uh, moving the weights and that's why I mean for the past you know five ten years we've been starting off with cardio making sure our bodies bodies are warmed up because you don't want to just hop right into the into the exercise before you start <coughs> before you get some blood flow to the joints especially leg day man you know you're moving a ton of weight just like imagine imagine your muscles like a rubber band when a rubber band is cold what happens you're not you're not as flexible when a rubber band is warm you know you can stretch that real nice the same thing with your muscles like look at mr. incredible Remember when they made Mr. Not Mr. Incredible, uh, Elastic Man, Fantastic Four. My bad. Remember when they made him cold? He could snap his body, snap his body in half. It's the same concept. The same concept. You always want to warm up before before you start getting into intense training. Okay. All right, y'all. Well, your boy is about to get ready for work. It's Friday. We got two more work days. And then we about to be in vacation mode. Low key, I think I'm in vacation mode already, but don't tell my boss, all right? <laughs> RJ, you checked out. You checked out, man. You might as well go on vacation now. <laughs> all right, man, we out. We out, we'll see you on the next one. We'll see you tomorrow, for sure. We got, what are we gonna hit, man? We be hitting too much fucking, we be working out too much, man. Because I hit legs yesterday, I hit, hit back the other day so possibly possibly another pool day we'll see what we, we'll see what the cards got in store for us all right oh shit speed racer all right guys peace out